Good day everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you will see the two views of a given figure, and we are told to assemble these views and reproduce them in isometric projection. Now, the first thing you do is for you to draw your isometric axis when you hear the word isometric projection. Now we'll take our instrument and um, we are going to project the y axis in this fashion, right? The z axis in this fashion, the x axis in this fashion, right? Hope you can see that. Now, after we have achieved that, the next thing we'll do is to get the length of the figure. This point here, according to the figure, is our lowest point, point what? Point A. Right? So, the length from point A to this direction, get the length there from the elevation and the plan. So, since we can't see it from the elevation, we'll check the plan. Right? This is the plan. And this is the elevation. Why is it that? Because of it is in third angle with this symbol you are seeing here. So in third angle, the plan is always on top of the elevation. So we'll get it to be 110. So I'm going to from here. I'll measure the hundred and what? The hundred and ten. Right? So from here, one hundred to this is hundred and ten. Can you see that? Then the height get from the elevation and that is what 75 so measure from here 75 this is 75 here right then the width here is going to be 100 you get that from the plan so you get the width from the plan so from zero is 100 so i'm going to use this to form a box so once I place it this way, I'm going to form what? A box this way. So take your instrument, project each point upward. Come here to project this point upward too. Stand it this way. Project this in this manner. Turn it this way also. Project this in this manner. Then you come here too, you do the same thing. Then you turn here too, close your up. So I have brought out this box. So from this box, I am going to carve out my image. Now if you look it from here to here. It's from here to here, and that is ticket. Looking at from the elevation, so I'm going to tick in this point here. Can you see that? From here to here, it's from here to here. And that is what ticking also. You can see that now. From here to here is from here to here is also what ticking looking from the plan and I'm going to tick in that also you can see that now the height the thickness here from here to here is from here to around there and that is what 20 so I'm going to measure 20 and I'm going to do the same thing here so from zero to 2 is 20. Can you see that? Then I'll take in it. 2. Is that taken? From here, I'll take in this way. Can you see that? Now the next thing is, I'll just take it in a little bit this way. And take this 2 in a little bit this way. Right now, aside that, the next thing we'll do is 
um from the beginning to the end here which you can see on the screen from the plan is 100 and we carved out want to know carve out what 80 from 100 so it remain 20 so we'll do the 20 a piece this line here you see here there's a thickness in between and that thickness is 10 as you can see in my mid my where my arrow is pointing so i'll measure 10 here that is a small piece here so from zero this is 10 from zero this is 10. i can just easily taking it this way i'm taking it to this way can you see that now in doing that the next thing i want to do is there's an angle here as you can see angle um 60 degree right so what i'll do is i'll just reproduce this figure somewhere around there does the elevation as you can see so i'm going to produce that up so first of all i'll just take my metal rule i'll draw a vertical line this way i'll take this also i'm going to draw an horizontal line this way right so which i'm going to measure the distance from here to here so i'll be using my instrument so you see that i'm exactly doing the same thing the position the elevation this is what we have here 110 and the height here which is what 75 right and i'm going to close that up and close it up too right then the thickness here as you can see from the diagram 20 so I'll come here 20 now close it up this way so there's an angle here angle of what 60 degree so when I place my c square this way or my t square this is 60 degree so what I'll do is this I'll take it to that ending as you can see from the diagram this is what I actually need here. How good? Meaning that the angle here to this horizontal line is what? 60. Is that okay? So what I'll simply do here is that I'm going to take my instrument to measure from here to here. Right? That's what I actually need. And I'll come here. And I'm going to mark here. Can you see that? So taking my instrument also, I'm going to draw a line this way connecting to that point can you see that in which i'm going to take the distance from here to here which is 10 i'll place it here i'm going to mark 10 i'll come here also i'll do the same thing too here at this point here too i'm going to mark what 10 can you see that so that is when i will not take my instrument and connect it from this point to this point here Also connected from this point to this point here. Hope you can see that. Which I will now take this from here straight down to this point here. Is that again? Which this will now come up here too. Right? And these two will also be taken here. And I will now move this from here to this point here. Right? The same thing will happen at this point here too. That again. So I'll just move this to move straight down here. Oh, you can see what I'm doing. So that means this is not there. So I'll move that instantly. So you make it to be faint and i'll close your at this point can you see that now we're not done yet this will just go in a little bit from here to here hope you can see that now if you look at this now we're told that from this point to this point is going to be 40. so i have to get the center of this figure here from here to here right so let me just come here and i'll do that let me use this. So from zero 
to this point here is given to be 80. Now you see, I'll start from here. From here to this point here is 100. Half of it is 50. So if I should take 20 to the left and 20 to the right, then 20. So what I've done from the center here 50, I went 2 to the right and 2 to the left. Can you see that? So that is what I'm going to do, and I'll take it backward. So from that point, I'll take this backward. From this point too, I'll take this backward. Hope you can see that. Then I'll do the same thing, just beneath here this way. Take your pencil, place it here. Come here, mark it this way. Also, come here, mark it this way. Can you see that? Then you take your meter rule and you connect from here to here. Faint line first. Faint line first. So once you've done that, so we're given that a height of um, 25 is measured from this point. So I'm going to measure that 25 from here. So from zero to 25 and also from 0 to 25 can you see that and i'm going to close it up oh there so let me close it up from here so i'm going to close it up this way hope you can see that and i'm going to close it up too I'll close it up too. So that hidden line is telling us that this is going in true. So let me bring it down first. Paint line. Then I'll take this in. Stop in here. All right. And this come in here this way. Then this is closed. Way. and this is close to this way can you see that right so in doing that um, this also is coming down here this way so that is what we're having and this is coming down. I'm taking here too. Is that taking? So, and here too is closed. Here also is closed. Taking it and also taking it. And is there anything we need to add in? So there's nothing. So this point you see here is that this two point and this point here is what my arrow is pointing. That where my arrow is pointing is here. Here also is here, right? Then here where my arrow is pointing is here. Here is where my arrow is pointing. In the middle point where my arrow is pointing. The hidden line my arrow is pointing is this. Looking at from this side, you cannot see here, right? So this is what we have. Is that the king? So um, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.